Thank you, Max, for the introduction. It is great to be here. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lindy Chen. Today is a, such a great pleasure to share with you about the digital transformation procurement. So, before I start, I want to, I'm going to give a brief introduction about myself. I have 20 years um, experience in international trade. I'm the founder and the managing director of the global business China Direct Sourcing, Fries and Chen, as well as the founding president of Australian Blockchain Alliance. I'm also a mentor for small, small business for Queensland government, and I have mentored more than 800 entrepreneurs. So today, I will share with you what is a digital procurement, how digital will transform the procurement value chain, aligning digital procurement with procurement transformation, digital procurement transformation benefits, how procurement technology speed up procurement transformation, and the conclusion. So in the meantime, I will use one case study free sense throughout the whole presentation to go through this process. So let's have a look at what is digital procurement. Digitalization is a common theme across many different industries. Digitalization is the use of digital technology to change a business model that provides new revenues and value producing opportunities. It is the process of moving to a digital business. Digital procurement is a process to use digital technology to enhance the procurement function. Digital technology is a broad term which encompasses tools and technology available at the disposal of a chief procurement officer to enhance the value delivered by the procurement function. Robotic automation, artificial intelligence, machine learning, source to pay technology, smart sensor, are some of those tools which can be used to drive better value for the procurement. By just taking a technology and slap it on a process, does not deliver desired results. It all starts with identifying the business processes where technology can be used either to enhance the user ex experience, improve productivity, or overall improvement of the function or the department. So let's have a look at some use case from a procurement perspective. Here is the simple framework for that. Digital procurement can benefit from two perspectives. Number one, identify and creating value. The focus of those use cases is to provide the procurement team with tools and technology so that they can identify areas where procurement can add value and deliver that value late faster. So one is a saving opportunity identification. Artificial intelligence can automate the savings opportunity and continuously monitor the data to identify new opportunity or suggest any deviation in the spend trend as compared to previous year spent for category manager. Two, enhancing expertise. Procurement technology can enhance the expertise of category managers by automatically gathering this data from different sources and consolidating this in a category like dashboard. Third, improving productivity. Imagine an e-sourcing tools which can not only present side-by-side -side comparison of response, but also compare answers from different vendors and identify key differentiation for vendors, or a tool which allows stakeholders to define their decision criteria and suggest a supplier ranking based on that criteria. This will definitely speed up the process and increase productivity for the stakeholder and the sourcing teams. So, FreeSense blockchain is one of those e-sourcing e tools which can present side-by-side -side comparison of Chinese suppliers' response, but also compare answers from different vendors in international trade. So, the next one is to uh, delivering value. Delivering value use case focus on the realization of the value, which is qualified as a better customer experience, improve the saving, 
and overall better stakeholder engagement for procurement. I would divide the value delivery use case into the following two buckets. Del delivering a better customer experience. Digital procurement can play a key role, not only just in automating the entire procurement to pay process, but also provide useful information to the employee to make the purchase process simple. Things like guided buying, is a common use where AI can help improve the experience for your stakeholder. On the other hand, you do not want to present them with 20 different product options like Amazon.com does because they are trying to consolidate the spend. So also adding the value through the insights. Digital procurement can help enhance procurement value by better presenting the insight to the stakeholder. You could look at the technology which automatically get the data about the supplier, not just the performance data, but other critical information like their financial results, performance data, and the geopolitical trends. This can help present a comprehensive supply chain summary to your stakeholder and keep identifying any supply chain risk. And also there is a tremendous value in presenting the procurement scorecard to your stakeholder. More they know about the procurement value add, better the engagement. So for example, international trade, we know that e-commerce has its drawback with price of mistrust issue, as well as time and cost through the opportunity of trading internationally. Thus this project, we established to digitize the procurement process. Say for instance, TradeLens is an open and a neutral digitization shipping platform underpinned by blockchain technology supported by IBM and Masic. On the other hand, TCS is a platform where participants in the supply chain can share information securely in order to drive productivity and service innovation through trusted end-to-end -end visibility of the supply chain. And Freesen is a trusted international trade certificate storage platform based on blockchain technology. This blockchain network connects the user with the global trained needs and it's a complete Chinese supply management solution. It's a revolutionized the international trade system with a unique proven three-stage importing system and now being digitized, putting a platform empowered by blockchain. Free send to the international trade industry is the same as the zero to the accounting industry. So then the third is aligning digital procurement with procurement transformation. It is important to align objective with technology because the use case for technology could be different based on your objective. Now, let's look at some few examples where aligning transformation with technology makes sense. First of all, let's look at if enhancing customer experience as a core key objective for your procurement and transformation. Now, what do you mean? Is it modernizing the user interface of your purchasing system? or simplifying the purchasing process, or provide better visibility into spend, or automating your manual purchasing process. Assume that your objective is a combination of all the points mentioned above. Then you look at the tool set, which can simplify your purchasing process, such as invoice processing. So the technology you are looking for is either purchasing order management or complete procurement to pay system. So another example, build an agile supply chain, which can meet the growing and often changing need of your customer. So your, your objective can be better valuation of the supplier or enhance the supplier risk management function or continuous tracking of geopolitical trends. So in that case, you are looking at the technology which can help you measure, track, and then analyze the supplier performance. You also need a set of AI, artificial intelligence tools, which can aggregate multiple data points 
to drive decision or alert you on potential supply chain description. So, no matter the objective, clearly define your outcome and then align with the technology tool set. Remember, strategy drives technology application, not another way around. Another side benefit of this alignment exercise is that it allows you to prioritize what objective to work on first. And of course, you are not investing all at one in end to end technology package. So what are the benefits of digital procurement transformation? For example, if you see the above model from Deloitte, it present, presents multiple area where technology tool sets can drive results for the procurement organization. Let's have a look at the example of procurement to pay and see the potential benefits. One is enhance the customer experience. The evolution of procurement to pay tool, the focus of the technology vendor have shifted to making their user interface more intuitive and providing a consumer app like experience. Employees are demanding a better experience in their purchasing process. The new generation of employee want the pips and a simple process for purchasing. With that in mind, let's have a look at some area where digital procurement can help. So a set of artificial intelligence tools to study buyer behavior and then suggesting purchasing frequency, automatically place the order on user behalf. Or improve approvals can be simplified drastically. Imagine if the system knows that you always buy a product every month and your manager always approved the purchase. If that's the case, do you really need a manager to approve the purchase every time? Guiding the user for the right resource. This could be include connecting with different preferred partner to get the bid. Imagine a system does everything without involving the sourcing team. I'm sure you can see the obvious benefit of more spend on the management using the same set of resources. This approach not only increase the productivity of the organization, but also provide a very simple and a better experience for your end user. Better the purchasing experience, better the engagement with procurement. So Frickson is the international trade supply management system empowered by blockchain is a, such a you know, good platform to deliver that. The, the second is a predictive spend ana analytics. It's impact on the cash flow. Another area where digital procurement can play a pivotal role is advanced analytics and specifically impact of purchasing on cash flow. Companies generally rely on mix of purchase order data and invoice agent report to understand their working capital requirements. The challenge with that approach is that not all spend is on purchasing orders. Another common problem with this approach is that sometimes vendors directly send their invoice to the stakeholder instead of sending the AP. This could lead to last minute invoice and unpredictably on the cash flow. To overcome this problem, you can use the tool available in your digital procurement tool set to project the working capital requirement and based on past data, or map all the market data with your demand and then project a cost increase or decrease based on the changes in the market condition. A common use about the comedy if you buy a widget which use copper as the main ingredient, then it makes sense to closely track in the commodity price and impact on that, the price of the widget. However, an advanced use case would be back to the factor in other conditions like geopolitical changes, change in demand and supply, etc. Third, track your Mavic spend. Mavic spend is a challenge for most procurement organization. And the larger the spend, bigger the issue. 
The obvious solution to tackle Maverick spend is to ensure that there are systems in place to guide your employee to the preferred window. The challenge is to that this approach has been tried and most organizations have still failed to get the Maverick spend under control. Now, imagine the technology tool set can log the activity transaction where the end user was not able to find what they were looking for. You can use tool like machine learning to automatically track such pattern. Once you have identified the root cause, you can use the same set tools to then guide these users to your preferred window. Thinking of like as Google Analytics for your spend. So how procurement technology really speed up procurement transformation? One, increased the transformation speed. Let's assume that your goal was to approve the purchasing experience for your end user. In absence of technology tools, this need to be done manually. That includes simplifying the process, hand-holding your stakeholders through the purchasing process. Even with all those efforts, the approach is not scalable because you need more people to handle query. More query leads to more headcount. Compare that to a technology solution. You implement a purchasing order management solution and let it drive the user to the preferred suppliers. If you have already reviewed the purchasing process, then the tool can do the rest. Your team now can focus on value-added activity, like negotiating costs and building better catalog for their end user. So number two benefit is to consistent output. Let's to take an example of controlling Maverick spend. The typical challenge there is to guide a user to the preferred supplier. In the back end, the purchasing team is always analyzing the behavior, which is leading to Maverick spending. Whether it is the availability of parts from preferred vendor or the user unaware, or unaware of preferred vendor. If you look at both these use cases, this can be addressed via handholding your end user and continuous analysis of your use spend data. However, you most likely will get inconsistent results because different people are handling it. The other challenge with this approach is that it is not repeatable. You would almost never have enough resources from continuous analysis of this use case. Alternatively, this can easily be automated by leveraging a standard purchase order system with additional ability to analyze purchasing trends and accordingly guide user to the preferred supplier. And the process is always consistent and repeatable. So the third benefit is overall lower cost. Digital procurement tool set not only providing you with a mechanism for consistent automated procurement process, but it also does it at a lower cost. Procurement technology has come a long way from complicated procurement system to modern, unified, easy to use end-to-end -end procurement system. In addition to that, there are a lot of platform provider like Amazon Web Service and Microsoft Azure, which have enabled solution provider to provide advanced artificial intelligence capability. That too at a fraction of the cost as compared to developing this technology in-house. This leads to overall lower cost for the procurement ecosystem. Whether you are looking to implement a standard procurement system or roll up your sleeves and develop your own custom solution, all that can be done in the cloud and a much lower cost. There is no additional overhead of managing infrastructure or additional IT requirement, which leads to lower overall cost. So the conclusion. Digital procurement could be considered as a new buzzword and seems like it represents as a panacea for all procurement challenge. Procurement technology is not new. However, the availability of newer digital procurement tools can be certainly improve on the overall procurement process and help you accelerate your procurement transformation journey. The key to success is a clear understanding and a mapping of available technology to your procurement transformation objectives. 
if you just start looking at available solution like blockchain, machine learning, uh, AI, all of these could be overwhelming. So we suggest that you start with assessing your transformation objective, then consult with technology provider and see what tool sets can help accelerate your procurement transformation. We would love to get your feedback on your procurement transformation journey and what role digital procurement is playing in that. And feel free to leave some your thoughts in the comment section. So in this session, I have shared with you what is digital procurement, how digital will transform the procurement value chain, align digital procurement with procurement transformation, digital procurement transformation benefits, and how procurement technology speed up the procurement transformation and the conclusion. And before we end, I'd just like to briefly introduce our company, which is China Direct Sourcing. China Direct is one of the leading Australian sourcing firm, which provide professional procurement service for customer to trade directly with factory in China. Recently, we started a project called Freezen, which is a certified storage platform for international trade, use blockchain as the framework. With the 15 years experience in China Direct, we found out that there are still a variety of small scale firms which could not afford our service. Additionally, e-commerce is now one of the top growing industry. Therefore, we have created the Freezen chain, turning the initial professional procurement service of China Direct Sourcing to a digital platform which will greatly reduce the service fee. Freesan is looking for strategic partner, potential partner that are interested to know anything with relevant government resources and more than welcome to contact us. Procurement transformation goal can vary from company to company, but the common theme is that it impacts people, process and technology. Digital procurement can help to accelerate the pace of procurement transformation and significantly reduce the friction of change management. The first and foremost step is to define the objective and the outcome for procurement transformation. Our objective is to make international trade beautiful. We take this opportunity to welcome you to China Direct Sourcing and Freezen Technology and hope to collaborate with you in near future. Thank you for this opportunity to share this digital transformation in on procurement with you.